The Everglades is a 2 million acre subtropical wetland habitat that is located in central and southern Florida. Lake Okeechobee overflows during the rainy season, releasing water into the River of Grass, a slow-moving, shallow river surrounded by sawgrass marsh. The river flows south, going through a number of ecosystems, such as cypress swamps, moist prairie, and mangroves before arriving at its final destination. The Everglades' native plant populations and trees are a vital part of the broader historic landscape. Nearly 70 threatened or endangered species call this area home, and it's the only place on the planet where alligators and crocodiles coexist. The Greater Everglades ecosystem used to have a wide variety of ecosystems connected by both wetlands and water bodies. However, people have been changing the Everglades ecosystem since the 1800s. The flow of water through this fragile environment is limited by both water diversions and flood control systems. Invasive species pose a potential threat not only to the ecosystem in the Everglades, but also to the native wildlife that live there. Roughly 1.7 million acres of the Everglades have been invaded by both non-native plants and wildlife. Restoring the Everglades habitat would assist in the mitigation of new invasions and the control of current invasive species. Including these cute little Muscovy ducks. The Everglades National Park is often referred to as the most threatened park in the U.S. Pollution, water depletion, land destruction, and species extinction have all affected the Everglades over the last century. Here's some things you can do to help protect the Everglades. Dispose of prescription drugs safely so they don't end up in the water. Use more natural household cleaning products. Visit the parks to support them. Don't litter. Don't release your pets into the park. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Thank you for listening.